Welcome back! In this video, I'll show you how to upload your design elements into your templates. Shortly after getting started with template, you'll want to upload your own design elements so that you can start using them in your templates. Elements can be photos or clip art images. Once you upload an element, you can reuse it in as many templates as you'd like. It will stay in the elements area and you just have to click it to load it onto a template. You can search for elements using the tags you set when uploading them and the title. You have three file types you can use as elements. You can upload PNGs, SVGs, and JPEGs. There are different advantages and disadvantages to all of them, but you'll probably end up using all of them in your designs. You cannot use any other file type. Please refer to the article below this video for more detailed explanation of the different file types and why you may or may not want to use each one. Now, let me show you how to upload your elements. The first thing you'll need to do is click on the Elements tab on the left-hand side. Then, click the Upload button. From here, you will select any image you have on your computer. Once you do this, you need to add tags for the element. This will help find it quickly if you want to use it again on another template in the future. This is helpful when you have hundreds of elements to look through. You have a maximum of 10 tags you can use to describe your image. You can use as little as one tag if you'd like. You're able to upload multiple elements at once by selecting multiple files on your computer. If you have too many elements for the total size limit, you'll see a message pop up asking you to remove some files. From here, simply click or drag the image you want to use from the element section and you'll see it on your template. You can resize the image by clicking the corner anchor and dragging it in or out. You can also use the scale button from the toolbar to easily change the size of your element. You can move it around and center it. You'll see the purple line appear when it's centered. If you have any questions, you can watch help videos or reach out to support by going to help.template.com or by clicking the help link in the top right corner.